A newborn has a lot of needs that he cannot provide for himself. But he slowly notices that whenever he is hungry, his mother appears and feeds him. When he is cold, she wraps him up. He begins to trust his mother. He comes down when she is around. Over the time, he begins to trust his father, other family members who care for him. He starts having teachers and other adults in his life who he learns to trust. He is not afraid when he stays with them. He believes what they say. But he is still very little. Everyone has to do everything for him. Gradually, he learns how to do things on his own. He learns to be independent. This means trusting himself. This is probably one of the most important skills that he will need for the rest of his life. We hope that later he will develop real friendships and he'll have friends whom he could trust like he trusts himself. An ability to trust is a great art that needs to be learned. We all know bosses, micromanagers, whose employees suffer because they don't allow them to do anything on their own. No matter how much the workers try to earn their trust, they don't trust them. We also, on the other hand, know people who constantly question themselves, their decisions, their actions. No matter how smart and talented they are, they never trust themselves. They are tormented by constant anxiety and worries. To be able to trust others or yourself is a great art that needs to be learned. Maybe this is why people often have a hard time trusting God. Those who don't trust anyone but themselves cannot trust God because the myth of having everything under their control makes them more comfortable. And they cannot give up this control to anyone, including God. Not only do they double check and micromanage their workers, their spouses, their friends, they micromanage God too. Those who don't trust themselves cannot allow themselves to trust God because they don't trust anyone at all. How many times these people worried and thought that this is the end and somehow everything worked out. But they still cannot imagine that there is someone who is running this world. The only way for a person who is not trusting himself to learn how to do that is by constantly paying attention that they do things well. Look, I did this task and I did this task. Maybe I deserve my own trust. The only way for people who don't trust others to learn how to do that is by constantly paying attention when others do things well. They need to value it. They need to notice it. They need to talk about it with other people. This is why in Judaism there is a number of rituals that makes us think Maybe God deserves our trust. The Torah commands us to pay attention when everything in our life works out okay and thank God for it. We have a tradition of telling about the successes of other people when they seem to have no chances. In our prayers, we remind ourselves of our history and how God helped us in the most hopeless situations. Each one of us can recall many situations when accidents helped us. And in retrospect, we see how these accidents merged into a single, well-orchestrated path of our lives. Maybe, after all, God deserves our trust.